general form of a straight line. This is for the exercise uh, 5.4. Uh, okay. So we are having a equation of a parallel line. Okay. We are having a equation of parallel line. So we are having a normal equation, the linear equation. You have converted that. So it's nothing but the x value is changed for some k. You should change this is for your k. That's it. In your parallel line. Okay, uh, the equation of a line parallel to the line means this equation is converted to the like this. The C will the constant is changed to k. That's it. The equation of a line perpendicular to line. If it is a perpendicular means this equation is converted. So you are interchanging the x coefficient and y coefficient, and your y coefficient is negative and plus k. Okay, so interchanging the coefficients. So y coefficient is a negative in this place plus k equal to 0. Okay, this is a difference between parallel means you are changing the constant for k. That's it. The perpendicular means you are changing, interchanging the x variable, it means x coefficient and y coefficient and y coefficient should be negative plus k equal to 0. And we are having a two straight line. Straight line is what? Some constant it is. We all know that two equation straight line. They are the coefficients of. So whether it is a perpendicular or a Sorry, parallel and perpendicular, we can write like this. Say a1 by a1. It's a, like a similar property. Similar property, how we do. It's okay, in your geometry, we will discuss about that. But in this place, x coefficient is divided of x coefficient. y coefficient is divided of y coefficient. Constant is, that's it, x and y, only variable. Okay? If it is a parallel, means it can only, if we can write like this. So, if you cross multiply this, we are getting a1 into b2, a1 into b2 equal to b1 into a2. So it's moving this place, so you're getting this equation. Okay. Perpendicular means nothing but a1 co means x coefficient is multiplied with another x coefficient. Addition of y coefficient is multiplied with y coefficient equal to 0. So multiply and write in this place, divide and solve to get this equation. That's it. The slope of the straight line, I already told that m equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y. That's it. The first question find the slope of the following straight lines. Slope of the following straight line. The next question 5y plus sorry minus 3 equal to 0. That can be given in this place. Okay, 5y minus 3 equal to 0. So, what are the terms we are having? We are going to find the slope. They are already told this is a straight line. So, slope of a straight line. So, you should write the formula. Slope of the straight line. So, what I am having in this place. So, m is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y. So, in this place, coefficient of x is what? Nothing. So, obviously, 0 by 5. So, 0 by any number is just 0. So, what is y m? 0. This is the second one. What we have? 7x minus 3 by 17 equal to 0. They are given. So, the same process we can do in this place. So, what we have in this place? Um, 7x minus 3 by 17 equal to 0. The same formula. m is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y. So, what is the coefficient of x? 7. I don't have a y. So, 0. Anything by 0 means infinity. Means m is equal to not defined. Okay, not defined. That's it. Then, find the slope of a line which is parallel to this. So, what they given? Parallel to y is equal to 0.7x minus 11. What we are going to find? Slope of line. Okay, we are going to find your slope. So, it is in the form y is equal to mx plus c, right? So, slope means what? Slope means m. So, that is equal to comparant. What is m? m is a coefficient of x. So, 0.7. That is it. So, perpendicular to the line x equal to minus 11. But we are having in this place a equation. So, you directly solve this. But what they are given? x is equal to minus 1. So, 
what I am having. So the second one. This is the given perpendicular to the line. This is equal to minus 11. So what I am having? This minus 11 equal to 0. This is our equation. So what is slope formula? M is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y. What is the x? 1. 0. So in this place what is the slope? M is equal to not not defined. But in a perpendicular bisector what we know? So this is so what is a M1? M1 is nothing but not defined, right? So, so in perpendicular, perpendicular of line means what? M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1, right? So what is another slope? So M1 is what? Minus 1 by 0 into M equal to minus 1. The 0 is moving this place. So what do you get finally? 0 is moving this place more cross multiplication. So in this place minus m2 is equal to minus 1 into 0. So I can directly write m2 equal to what? 0 right? So what is this? That's it. The slope of a perpendicular line is this. Okay. So then finally so the before that I forgot to tell so you should find out your slope we are having a parallel means we are having a two slope right so I am having a one slope so this is m1 so parallel line right parallel line of the slope means means m1 equal to m2 right the before sum so m1 is 0 0.7 means obviously your m2 also equal. So m2 is equal to 0 0.7. That's it. Okay.